Hi, my name is Patrick Reagan. This series of videos, Introduction to Computers, is the first series of the CompTIA a certification videos. The Introduction to Computer series will introduce you to computers and give you an overview of how computers work, including hardware, software, and data, bits and bytes, and computer architecture. Part 1 of 4, called Hardware, Software, and Data, defines a computer and personal computer and discusses what hardware, software, and data is. A computer is a machine that consists of mostly electronic devices that are made to process data usually through a sequence of arithmetic and logical operations. A computer is enhanced with a wide range of peripherals including mice, trackballs, cameras, speakers, and headphones. Computers only do what they're told to do. It is a device that is made to follow instructions. Computers run programs which include a series of instructions so that the computer can perform a wide range of tasks. Of course, when do I say a series of instructions, I mean a lot of instructions. While the instructions tell the computer what to do, if the instructions are bad, the computer will monk function or generate an error. This is where the phrase garbage in, garbage out comes in at. The quality of the output is determined by the quality of the input. If you give the computer bad commands, it will generate an error or fail at its current task. If you give the computer bad data, don't expect to get the correct results. A personal computer is a computer that is meant to be used by one person, at least one person at a time. Computers include hardware and software. Hardware is something that you can touch and feel. You can touch and feel a monitor, a motherboard, or a processor. You can touch and feel a printer, a mouse, or a keyboard. Hard drives, optical disks, and USB drives are also considered hardware because you can touch and feel them. Software, known as a program or application, is a series of instructions that are loaded in the computer's memory which tell the computer what to do and when to do it. It is these instructions that tell the computer how to manipulate data. While you touch and feel a disk, USB drive, or hard drives that store the software, the software that is stored on the disk or drive is just instruction which cannot be touched or felt. If I tell you to stand up, the instruction is stand up, but there's nothing to touch or feel. Programming is the process of creating a set of instructions that tell the computer when and how to perform a task. The programming or software developer is the person that creates the instructions using the programming language. Some of today's popular programming languages are C, C++, C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, and Python. The programmer will type the instructions using the programming language and may compile the program so they can be understood by the computer. You can almost think that when a developer is compiling a program, the developer is converting the programming commands, some of these commands that resemble normal spoken languages, to machine code that the computer knows how to read and execute. The user of the computer is the computer operator. By using the keyboard or mouse, the user tells the software what to do, which tells the hardware what to do. For example, the user can type in a command or click a button on the screen to perform a designated task or action. For example, you may be working on a work processor such as Microsoft Word. When you click the Save button, it will save the document to disk. When you click the Print button, it will send the document to the printer. While you can use Windows File Explorer and to delete a file, you can also delete the file by typing in the following command, del file name dot text. The del command is the command to delete the file. Data is a representation of facts, concepts, or information that is processed, stored, sent to, or sent from the computer that the computer can interpret. It is any sequence of one or more symbols that may include, but not limited to, values, text documents, images, audio clips, and videos. Similar to software, you cannot touch data. You can touch paper that you printed so that the paper is hardware, but you cannot touch a number, a symbol, or a fact. So remember, hardware is something you can touch and feel. Software instructions for the computer to follow. Data is representation of facts, concepts, or information that is processed, stored, sent to, or sent from the computer, and that the computer can interpret. Question, which of the following is hardware and which of the following is software?
Answer, the monitor, DV disk, and network cable is something that you can touch and feel and therefore is considered hardware. Microsoft Word is software, which again includes sets of instructions, and a Microsoft Word document is data. Before moving on, I want to talk more about data. Because data represents hours of work and may consist of irreplaceable information, is the most important element to the user. At this point, I usually ask a brainwashing question. What is the most important part of the computer? Answer, data. Like I said before, data represents hours of work and may consist of irreplaceable information. Of course, in discussion, I'm not including the user, so the user's life and health is more important than the computer and its data. But I think you get the point that when we talk about computers itself, and everything that the computer represents, data is the most important part of the computer. Therefore, you need to take steps to protect your data and develop good work habits that will enhance data protection. You should not have a large glass of water sitting near your open laptop. You should not leave your laptop in a car that is in the sun on a hot summer day. You need to make sure you give your computer plenty of open space so that the air can flow through its vents and keep the computer operating properly. More importantly, make sure you make extra copies of your important data on a regular basis. Make an extra copy of data, and sometimes your software is known as backing up your data. Make sure that you store the extra copies away from your computer. Remember, if your computer blows up or catches on fire or just stops working, the extra copies stored on the computer will also be destroyed or inaccessible. Lastly, if you're troubleshooting the computer, think about the data before you take any actions and ask yourself, do you have a copy of the data and is the data at risk on whatever you're about to do? So this brings me to my second brainwashing question. What is the best way to protect your data? Answer, backup, backup, backup. Backups will be discussed in later lectures. I just need to mention here so you can start thinking about backups from the start. I also want to emphasize it. That's the reason I say backup three times. No one gets fired from a job because they have a bunch of backups, but a person will get fired if they just lost the accounting information for the last six months or the report that the team has been working on for the last two weeks. Remember, when the computer fails, it's usually too late to create a backup. In summary, a computer is a machine that consists of most electronic devices that are made to process data usually through the sequence of its arithmetic and logical operations. A computer is enhanced with a wide range of peripherals including mice, trackballs, cameras, speakers, and headphones. Computers only do what they're told to do. Computers run programs which include a series of instructions so that the computer can perform a wide range of tasks. Hardware is something that you can touch and feel. Software, known as a program or application, is a series of instructions that are loaded in the computer's memory which tell the computer what to do and when to do it. Data is a representation of facts, concepts, and information that is processed, stored, sent to, or sent from the computer that the computer can interpret. Data is the most important part of the computer. The best way to protect your data is backup, backup, backup. Thank you for watching this video. Look for parts 2, 3, and 4 of this series. The next video in this series is CompTIA's A+, Introduction to CompTIA's Part 2, Bits and Bytes. Thank you.